Tomo News presents Parrots. <laughs> parrot missing for four years returns speaking Spanish. How does a parrot go from hello, Govna, to hola, amigo? Darren Chick's long lost, now bilingual pet parrot Nigel did just that. The African gray parrot originally spoke with Chick's polished British accent. Angus and Mash. Nigel disappeared from Chick's home in Torrance, California back in 2010. Julissa Sperling, owner of Happy Tales Dog Spa, found the bird and was charmed by the bird's ability to speak Spanish. Que paso? Sperling contacted a local veterinarian who traced the microchipped bird back to its original owner. The Spanish-speaking parrot initially bit Chick Culero. and kept mentioning some guy named Larry. How Nigel survived and picked up Spanish remains a mystery. And who the heck is Larry? Estoy crudo. Man strangles brother's parrot over inheritance argument. A man has charged his younger brother with the murder of his pet parrot. Mr. Lin, age 48, owns and runs a noodle shop. Mr. Lin's younger brother, age 46, felt that their parents hadn't equally divided the inheritance when they'd passed away five years ago. The truth was that the younger Mr. Lin had already blown through his entire inheritance and felt that he was entitled to some of the money his older brother had received. The two argued, and in the middle of the argument, the elder Lin's pet parrot decided to speak up, squawking out, <laughs> Mr. Lin's parrot only had about 20 individual words in its vocabulary, but the timing was spot on, but not so perfect for the parrot. Enraged, the younger Mr. Lin strangled the parrot to death before storming out. The older Mr. Lin reported the animal abuse to police, but they were unable to locate his younger brother. Three days later, the younger Mr. Lin appeared at his brother's noodle shop to argue about the inheritance again. Police were called and arrested him on the spot. Hawk kills pet parakeet and gets trapped in birdcage. A boy in Arizona and his pet parakeet, Snowy, are mourning the loss of the bird's best friend, after a hawk swooped in, killed it, then found itself trapped inside its victim's cage. On the morning of November 21st, the boy's mother decided to leave the birdcage out on their backyard patio table to let the birds enjoy some fresh air. Little did she realize that a predator with a keen eye had been surveying the area from the sky. Moments later, the hawk flew down and managed to squeeze through the cage, unleashing a ruthless attack. Feathers were flying as the birds tussled, with Snowy managing to stay alive during the cage match. The boy's mother heard the loud banging and ran over to see the rogue bird trapped, with one of the parakeets laying lifeless on the cage floor. The mother was able to reach in and save Snowy, but her mate, Petey, was dead. Her nine-year-old son, devastated, said he wished his pet could have lived longer, but was in heaven now. Meanwhile, Petey's killer was released shortly after the fight, but returned to the murder scene 15 minutes later in search of its breakfast. Coffee-loving parrot causes woman to crash her car. You remember this woman, right? The 79-year-old who sued McDonald's because she spilled hot coffee all over her lap? Seems to be a bit of a theme, hot coffee and vehicles and unfortunate results. But this story has a pet parrot thrown into the mix. On Tuesday, Angel Holyfield from Uniontown, Pennsylvania was driving and sipping and having a grand time with her pet parrot until the little bird began pecking at the lid of the cup. His impatience distracted Angel long enough that she crashed her Honda Accord into a guardrail. She reportedly suffered a broken arm and lacerations from the deployed airbag. Her parrot was fine. Angel told officials her little love bird enjoys coffee and drinks it often, which is great as long as she's learned her lesson and realizes it's pretty much common sense for the rest of us. Featherless Bird gains fame with sweater game, becomes fashionista. A new style icon has emerged and her name is Javi. Sweaters are her game, sock sweaters to be exact. But all was not always well for this parrot who arrived at the tall grass parrot sanctuary in Kansas last September. As a result of extreme anxiety, Javi suffers from overpreening, a condition in which birds pluck out all their feathers. When she arrived at the sanctuary, the poor bird was said to have smelled like stale cigarette butts and rotted garbage. The sanctuary rehabilitates more than 30 parrots of all sizes, among other animals suffering from all kinds of conditions. Javi, formerly known as Hobby, 
was renamed by the sanctuary because the staff feels that no living being should be somebody's hobby. Come on, pretty bird. Hobby was then given a new look by Sock Buddy, a Canadian company that turns ordinary socks into stylish parrot wear. And these bad boys aren't just about fashion. Sock Buddy sweaters help regulate body temperatures for overpreened parrots, helping to prevent poor feather growth and weight loss. From tie-dye to classic white sweaters, Sock Buddy has been Javi's go-to designer. And, turns out she's not the only one. Apparently, sweaters are now hot in the bird world. How chic. Parrot mimics owner's dying words. The parents of a dead Michigan man are convinced his pet parrot witnessed the murder and has been repeating his last words. In May 2015, Martin Durham was shot dead in his home. Police also found his wife, Glenna, with a gunshot wound to the head. She survived the injury and claims not to remember anything about the incident. Initially seen as a double homicide, officers are now investigating the possibility of a murder-suicide. With Glenna as the prime suspect, she hasn't been charged. As it looks like the only witness to Durham's death is his pet bird, Bud, who keeps repeating, Bud, an African gray parrot, mimics a man and woman locked in a fierce argument before delivering the chilling line. Glenna had reportedly left three suicide notes and may have shocked Durham before turning the gun on herself. According to police records, the couple had numerous financial and gambling problems, though Glenna denies killing her husband. As for Bud, his statements probably won't hold up in court unless someone can prove he's repeating dialogue from the actual murder and not say something from a TV screen. A gruesome murder in Agra, northern India on February 20th was discovered when Vijay Sharma, the editor of a Hindi daily newspaper, came home to find his wife and dog stabbed to death. The city police were baffled by the case for almost a week, till the sole survivor's voice was heard. 45-year-old Neelam Sharma and her pet dog were both stabbed to death at home. But the killers weren't aware that they left a witness alive. The family parrot, Hira, would start shrieking and flapping around the cage when the victim's nephew, Ashutosh, came by. She even screeched every time Ashutosh's name was mentioned, according to Vijay. Growing suspicious, Sharma's family spoke his name in front of Hira and she started shouting, Usnemara, Usnemara, meaning, he has killed. Ashutosh and his accomplice were arrested on February 26th. He confessed that he intended to rob his aunt, but then decided to kill her when she caught them in the act. They never thought about killing the parrot as it had been silent in its cage. Police are not known to be particularly amiable towards man's best friend. But the plight of Staten Island mother of 10, Evelyn Lugo, shows that pet owners should now apparently even be hiding their birds from police. Lugo's son was taking the garbage out when police stopped and questioned him about a traffic cone being used to save a public parking spot. After a brief struggle, he ran inside his family's house. The officers forcefully entered the home and in the process, knocked over the cage of Evelyn Lugo's beloved pet parakeet, Tito. When Lugo's daughter, Anna, screamed, The bird! An officer responded with, F*** the boyd! and allegedly stepped on it, killing poor little Tito. Court rules parrot witness caper as a failed murder-suicide. Last week, Michigan woman Glenna Durham was found guilty of killing her husband Marty in 2015. The couple's pet African gray parrot, Bud, reportedly saw the whole thing go down but wasn't called to provide testimony despite initial considerations for him to do so. See, he keeps squawking, don't shoot but in marty's voice marty's folks reckon that's him mimicking their son's last words parrots like bud are renowned for their speech abilities but that wasn't used as evidence against glenna and bud didn't get his day in court but if what he squawks is true glenna was arguing with marty before she put five bullets in him 
Bud would have also had a bird's eye view as Glenna failed to kill herself in the botched murder-suicide. And for Glenna at least, the citiciforms really came home to roost last week. She's looking at life behind bars and will be sentenced at the end of August. As for her former parrot, well, we don't know how he is, but we do have an idea for a television show though. Bud the Parrot starring in Murder He Squawked. Coming to a TV near you never.